Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Brandon Rich. Today we're doing 100% on the Ultra Violence difficulty of Doom 2. This is the final map in Doom 2, map 30, Icon of Sin. So let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is grab all of these items, including this. And it gave us 100 rockets. You're going to see why in a second. Or no, it didn't give us 100 rockets, but that's okay. We're going to get 100 soon. Now, if you guys couldn't hear that, there was some weird language being spoken. It was the Bathema speaking. He's actually saying in English backwards, in order to win the game, you must kill me, John Romero. It's actually an inside joke between its software and uh, the development team. What happened was, behind uh, the Bathema is actually a picture of John Romero, in pixelated form, that is. And, uh... Yeah, you basically, when you shoot inside the Baphomet's head, you're actually shooting a picture of John Romero, which I find hilarious. Now, as you raise up here, I don't know how we didn't, I know, I don't know how we didn't die right there. <laughs> I swear that thing telefragged us, but it's whatever. Now, if he shoots those, we'll want to be moving around as much as possible until it's time to ride up this thing. Shoot into it. Now, straight front onto here if you can. I'm going to grab all these items. Um... It takes about three rockets to kill him. Now that we have the shielding suit, this part is gonna be so much easier. We'll now ride up here. And you have to time it just right. Gosh dang it. This sucks. I'm not very good at aiming. I'm gonna be straight. Um, there are speedrunners that can do it. All three rockets in one go. I'm not that good at this. So go ahead and sh Gosh, this is frustrating. I'm sorry you guys have to watch this. I'm failing multiple times. If you have the shielding suit, it makes this part way easier. Ugh, okay. Our shielding suit's gonna run out eventually. Okay, I'm gonna fire another shot into his head. Okay, sweet. Now he's not dead yet. Um, the reason being, I need to get all the items. So I'm going to have to get this Megasphere over here. And then this one. Oh my gosh, move. This one over here. Yeah, as you can see, this is literally what hell would look like. Um, it's just insane. Just go ahead and kind of spray the enemies behind. Now pulling out the rocket launcher. This should be the final rocket. Dang it. Okay. I'm going to pop the BFG. Pull out the rocket launcher. Spray into his head. And that is the Icon of Sin, everyone. We've done it. <laughs> 2,800% kills. <laughs> and we almost did it in part time. If you're not terrible at aiming like me, if you can time it right, um, then you can beat this map in literally 30 to 60 seconds and no problem. Um, plus, I was trying to get 100% of all the items and everything like that, since this is a 100% run through. Anyways, guys, that concludes Doom 2. One of my absolute favorite games, next to the Ultimate Doom, obviously. I would say I like Doom 1 better just because it's the original and classic. But Doom 2 brings the super shotgun and a whole bunch of new enemies that I think are really fun. Um, Doom 2, a lot of people call it an add on expansion to Doom 1, but I like to call it. Doom's older brother. Um, I'm not discrediting Doom 1, because Doom 1 actually has some of my favorite themes and maps in it, but Doom 2 is such an amazing game. Um, super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this walkthrough, this 100% walkthrough of Doom 2, and I hope you guys will continue to follow me in my other playthroughs and other videos that I make down the road. Um, I'm going to release a video soon updating it, all my subscribers and viewers on what I will be making down the road. Um, but yeah, so a little bit of background real quick on the Icon of Sin. John Romero's head <clears throat> in pixelated form is in the back, and you have to shoot his head to kill him. So John Romero programmed um, the statement, in order to win the game, you must kill me, John Romero, and then played it backwards, and that's why it sounds so demonic and creepy. So I thought that was a little fun Easter egg. I don't have the computer, so I can't show you guys, but if you want to go watch Big Mac Davis's run on this level, he actually goes behind the uh, Iconosin's 
had it and shows you John Romero's face on the stick. So, anyways, guys, I will see you in the next videos, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Oh, psych. I actually want to show you guys one more thing. <coughs> if it will continue. The horrendous visage of the biggest demon you've ever seen crumbles before you. After you pump your rockets into his exposed brain, the monster shrivels up and dies. Its thrashing limbs, devastating untold miles of hell's surface. You've done it. The invasion is over. Earth is saved. Hell is a wreck. You wonder where bad folks will go when <laughs> they die now. <coughs> Wiping the sweat from your forehead? You begin the long trek back home. Rebuilding Earth ought to be a lot more fun than ruining it was. And then after that, we're just brought to this screen where um, there's a zombie man, a shotgun. I'll let them each do a sprite of shooting you and then I'll kill them. You know what, I'm just gonna go through these guys real quick. I'm gonna tell you guys which ones I like and which ones I don't like. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Get through these guys. Plus watching the death animations is fun enough, so this is like, <clears throat> this is like eye candy for you guys. Okay. So there's the zombie man. This is one of my favorite enemies in the game because of how easy it is to kill and mow down. The shotgunner, which I don't like too much, and then the heavy, I hate, this is one of my least favorite enemies in the game, just because of how much he tears you down. Then there's the imp, which I like. The demon, which I used to hate, but now with the super shotgun, I like it. And, um, I'm not going to say anything about the lost soul, there's nothing to say about him. Then there's the khaki demon, I love this enemy, he's just really animated and fun to look at. Next up is the hell knight, which is a easier version of the baron of hell, which I love. And then the Baron of Hell, which is his, like, older brother. And then the Aragnatron, which is, like, baby spiders to the spider mastermind. <laughs> Don't forget about the pain elemental. Just look at his animation when he fires at you. I gotta say, that's, that's the coolest thing about the pain elemental is when he's firing at you. But other than that, he needs to go down the hole. Revenant, which is one of my favorite enemies because of how small their hitbox is and how much damage they dish out. Then there's the Mancubus. Which I like because of how big his hitbox is and because of how much damage he dishes out. Then there's the Arch Vial, which is the scariest enemy in the game in my opinion. Because not only will they hit you from wherever you're standing, but they also resurrect enemies. And then the Spider Mastermind. Look how beautiful she is. And then there's also the Cyber Demon, which we've seen multiple times. But guys, we saved the best for last. And that is us, um, Doom Guy, who is the ultimate boss. We are the boss. So it's funny because there's a saying that you're stuck in hell with the demons, but I like to see it as the demons are stuck in hell with you. Well, guys, that concludes everything. I will see you guys in the future videos. Until then.